single man, single man, I'll be a single man, I'll be a single man. That's my hopes and dreams for next year's hunting. Boo, Bob and Tucky. Pig hunting. An addiction or a passion? Call it what you like, but hell, it gets into your blood, doesn't it? I love all hunting, deer stalking, everything, but uh, pig hunting is something else. I guess it's the dogs that does it. Anyway, come up. I spent 13 years in Europe as an entertainer. Money was excellent. Sex, drugs and rock and roll, baby. It was a great life. But after a while, it kind of grew a bit thin. And I really miss New Zealand. Particularly the great outdoors and hunting and all the it goes with it. You know, I dreamed of days when I was younger in the bush with my dog and knife when I used to live in Abel Tasman National Park. So I came home, started to raise a family and uh, the woman I was with, she, she left me for another woman, just to make it worse. And so uh, I sort of retreated into my hunting a bit. It was a hard time for me, but uh, it was very therapeutic and very healing, spending time in the bush with my dogs. Started off, I was pretty useless. I was unfit as hell. Dogs were unfit. And I wrote about this in my uh, song, Single Man. We virtually lived up the Pierce Valley all the time. Think about hunting all the time. If you keep on doing it with your dogs, after a while, everything gets better. You get fitter, you get sharper, your dogs get fitter. And that's what happened. It's a great life. I wish I'd recorded some of it on video. Well, I did a, a couple of hunts, but you know, I was catching nearly a pig every day up there. I don't know how many I took out, but uh, you know, a good year, one good year, it was 110 pigs over 100 pounds. And when you're catching that many pigs in a year, you spend a lot of time just processing them. You know, it was full time. It was a great, great life. At one stage, I lost a good dog, and I um, I'm gonna go back this way now. Come to the end of the farm. Come on, and. Uh, I advertised for a new dog and I got this dog called Tua from a bloke called Rob. Rob Waring, farmer over in Rye Valley Way. We kind of weighed each other up. I went around and met him and met the dog and we sort of decided if it was good for the dog, good for Rob and good for me if we hunted this dog with my pack. Now, how can I explain this dog Tua? He had one eye, half a tail, he was old. But uh, he, he was bomb proof, you know, he was stock proof and uh, he'd catch a pig. So I ran him with my pack, and man, did he get that pack back in shape. Now I did record one of these hunts, the only reason I sort of uh, kept it, I don't know where all the other hunts and bits that I had have gone, but this particular one, the boar we caught had one eye. Which is kind of ironic, because Tour only had one eye too. So uh, I'm going to share this with you guys now. Uh, it's a few years back. I was a younger man and there were different dogs that I'm hunting today, but it was a good hunt and a good memory for me. And I guess that's what pig hunting leaves with it. Lots of good memories, you know. I don't have any, any bad memories. They're all good memories. Even the hardest days, the most challenging days, are still a good memory. So you guys will relate to this. And this is one of my good memories I'd like to share with you. So sit back and enjoy a very old, bad quality clip. First, one of the first ones I've ever filmed. But... Uh, it's there, so enjoy. Get it behind. Well, here we are up in the Pierce Valley, and uh, probably my favourite, most hunting spot in the world. See the nest up there where pig rooted the hole. Oopsie, Pan and Damon just there. Carved right out. And the wind's going the right way to pick it up. We're in Goat Creek and that's uh, one of the many wild goats that are up here. All these goats around us make it very difficult to not distract the dogs. We're hunting right amongst them.
Holding. Good boy. That's good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's pretty well stuffed, eh? Yeah, and the dogs have really done a good job today. But this nice gnarly ball, we just pulled it out of the creek. Look at the size of the fangs on that. Lucky no dogs got hurt. The rip girl worked really well on girl. She's been beaten up. She's bruised, but she's got no cuts through her. Good girl. You alright, girl? Bit sore. Eh? Any rips under there? No rips. Oh, thank God for rip gear, eh? Because those tusks would have opened you up. You did a good boy. You did a good job. Nice dog. It's a good looking pig. And he's blind in one eye, two bollocks. It looks like an old accident. Those tusks have seen a few dogs before, I'd say. And he's got a big cyst here. Good size pig, look at the size of those feet. Well done dogs, good boy. Time to put the guts out and start the hard carry. Don't want to damage any of those tusks, no doubt. We'll put some uh, shirt around this set of ivory so it doesn't get broken taking it out of the bush. Yeah, we're as good as new. Come on. Come on. Come on. Single man, single man, I'll be a single man. As the days turn into weeks, the hounds grew strong. We hunted from early morn the whole day long. Ding stock trail yapping, blue was always on the find. Mare grew lean and mean, rip grew sharper all the time. Lived on game, caught here and there, from goat to pig, from coon to hare. Ate native pigeon without a care, while honey and grubs have feasted on deer. The river blessed me with fish and watercress, the forests, berries, mother earth, the rest. Every night we hounds cleaned up the bones, to by the fire that warmed our new home. 